In this paper, we propose RetroShape, an approach to enhance the viewing experience on smartwatches using a shape-changing tactile display added to the rear surface of the smartwatch. Smartwatches provide easy access to short-time entertainment, such as playing games or watching videos. However, user experience in such applications is quite limited due to the small form factor of the screen area and limited input-output options. We present RetroShape, a smartwatch with a deformable display on its rear surface that extends virtual scenes to the 2.5D physical world. RetroShape is composed of a 2-inch TFT display and a 4x4 taxel array, actuated using 16 miniature servo motors. Each pixel on the screen has a corresponding tactile pixel, or taxel, on the back of the watch face allowing the virtual world to be extended to the physical space on the watch's back. The information that can be haptically rendered by RetroShape includes location, motion, multiple objects of different size, and material surface deformation. We implemented a whack-a-mole game, which provides hit feedback. A space shooter game, which can render different tactile effects based on other game events, such as the user getting hit by the asteroid. A first-person game, where the users fire a handgun and firebomb. Diverse patterns are used in movie clips, such as slowly increasing pressure a linear explosion, a random explosion pattern, a circular explosion pattern, and a vortex pattern. In order to understand rendering realistic tactile feedback with a lower resolution shape changing display, we conducted two human factor studies and a qualitative study. To conduct the studies, we built a test apparatus composed of a robotic arm and two smartphones. The robotic arm equips a capacitive stylus that is constantly in contact with a smartphone facing downwards. Another smartphone is placed on the robotic arm to simulate a smartwatch. To ensure the co-location feature of the visual object and the haptic stimuli, a self-adjusting function is also implemented. In study one, we explore the discrimination threshold of size difference between the taxel and visual object. The results indicate that different size visual and tactile stimuli can be coupled if their relative size ratio is within certain thresholds. In study two, we explore the discrimination threshold of the distance between the taxel and the visual object. The view of participants is blocked using a piece of paper to avoid motion of the robotic arm from influencing user responses. The results suggest that the illusion of co-location can be maintained if the distance ratio and the size of each taxel falls within certain thresholds. We finally conduct a qualitative study, and the results indicate that with RetroShape, the realism of virtual objects was enhanced, and the enjoyment of games and movie clips was significantly boosted. For more details on our study, please see our paper.